trying to get into this little nook corner here. See? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'll, I'll pick those up after. But, yeah, so. <laughs> So I did a little mini getaway for three days. I'm at an Airbnb and it's super cute in here. So I figured I'll just film both of my videos here because I did bring my camera and everything. But today is gonna be a very simple and possibly quick <laughs> video. So today I'm gonna be talking about what is in my book bag or bookish bag. Bookish book bag? Okay. I'm gonna be talking about what's in my bag. I know you probably like Capri. It's a bookish bag, books should just be in there, but the hoarder in me is letting you know that that's not the only thing in there. I'm just gonna show you guys everything that I have inside of my bag. I was gonna, you know, wash this bag, make it look all beautiful and nice, but um, yeah, I never got around to washing this. I usually carry around this bag with me absolutely everywhere. I usually carry it with me when I'm at work or when I leave the house. I always have to have a book near me, so I bring my entire bag with me. I'm not really big on purses. Like, usually I wear, like, book bags or stuff like that, but I don't really like carrying around purses because I usually forget them. But I do make sure that I bring my bookish bag because it has all my books in it. But let's get into the guts of the bag. I'm just going to dump everything out. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is my bag. This bag I got from Barnes & Noble. I used to have a little bag that I got from Redbubble, but I was being cheap and I got a little small one. And um, being that I put a lot of stuff in my bookish bag, that little small one was not helping at all. <laughs> I could literally only put books in there. I like to have like the bigger one. I kind of want to get one that has like a better stabilizer on the bottom just to keep, keep it open and wide. But I got this one because it's bigger and it was on sale at Barnes & Noble. And it says, talk wordy to me. And it has this cute little girl in the front where her book's balanced out. So this is my bag. The only thing is that because it's such a light color, it gets dirty really fast. So I wanted to get something that's a little bit darker. Inside, I have all of this stuff. All of these items. So I'm going to show you guys what I have. So, this damn pillow just will not let me live. Stay back there. In my bag, I usually carry the three books that I'm reading or the one book that I'm reading or whatever. So right now, I'm currently reading Motor Crush Volume 2 and I'm reading My Sister the Serial Killer. These books are pretty small, but even if they were bigger, they would be able to fit in that bag because the bag is so big. I'm also reading Illuminae, but I forgot that one at home, which I'm upset about, but it's fine. I usually have like a stack of pens that I keep in my bag because sometimes I annotate, sometimes I don't, but if I have like some feels I need to write down, I will whip out a pen real quick. So a lot of the pens that I have are super cute. I usually get them from The Strand, which is a bookstore in New York. I go there with my cousin a lot, so this one's like a little lion. <laughs> it's super cute. And you just click his little tail to get the pen to come out. I think it's cute. Yeah, I usually have like pens like this, or I have like color or uh, colored pens. I have highlighters. I have the pen that has like all of the different colors, like blue, green, red, black, and all that. I actually really need to get like um, a pen case so I can put all of these together in a little bag because just having them inside my bag is not the best because sometimes I mark up my bags, sometimes it stabs my books. So I really need to get another container to contain these and stop them from abusing my books. I also have my book stamp that has my name on it and it says from the library of Capri Nicole, read it, love it, and return it. So this is a stamp that I got for Christmas. So this is my little stamp. All the books that I plan on keeping are usually the ones that I stamp. Like I usually wait until I read the book to stamp them because I don't want to go into a book, even if I'm anticipating it, if I go into a book and I just stamp it before I even read it, I, and I want to end up getting rid of it. I, I usually can't if I have my name stamped on it. So I wait until I finish the book and if I love the book, then I'll stamp it twice. I'll stamp it in the front and I'll stamp it in the back. But I have more pens. <laughs> These pens are brought to you by the Dollar Tree. These are the cutest pens, but they have like little designs and stuff on them. I usually keep them in the packaging and in the box because these like unwind and the, the entire pen ends up breaking apart inside the bag. So I usually just keep these inside the container. Bada bing! I also carry around this notebook. This orange notebook is my book of bills. <laughs> so every time I get paid or anytime I have to do budgeting or do something with money, 
this is the go-to notebook. I also carry around my book light, which I, I think I need to get a, a new one. I want to get something that's brighter because I feel like this one's like dimming out on me. Either I need a new battery or just I need a new light because it's 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 circular and I feel like I need something that's like longer so it covers more of the page so I don't have to keep like moving it around to be able to see. But this is my book lamp. The first one that I had was better. I had, I, this is the second one that I had, but the first one that I had was my favorite and I have no idea what happened to that book lamp, but it was square. So this one's circular and I just feel like it doesn't cover enough of the page, but you know, this is what I got, this is what I'm working with. I also carry around my little packet of sticky notes. So I have like stickies and then I have like my annotated ones right there. And that's my little container for that. I also have my to-do list. So like any ideas that I have for videos or videos that I want to get done, I usually write them down really fast in here when they come like come to mind. Or like I open, open Google Docs and I have like a folder for all the videos that I want to do. But usually I just write them down and then I add them into my Google Drive after just in case. I like to have two different versions of things just in case I lose a copy or something goes wrong you always got to have a backup plan but this is my video to-do list notebook which is brought to you by the Dollar Tree most of my stuff I get from the Dollar Tree because it's it's cheap okay and I lose a lot of things so I'd rather lose something that's a dollar than lose something that's like ten dollars this is also from the Dollar Tree but it says like you got this on the cover and it has like a marble ish finish in it so this notebook i also carry around i usually keep this just like to jot notes down like if i'm watching like a video and like i want to remember who the booktuber is or something they said or something that i want to like do or practice and like with my booktubing or whatever just like any like youtube ish notes or like youtubers names because like i'm so so bad with names like I, every time i find like a youtuber that i really like unless their channel name is their name i will not remember what their name is it's really it takes like weeks for me to remember their name so sometimes if i find a booktuber or a youtuber that i really like i'll write down in this notebook so that i can remember <laughs> who they are or if like they have like a website or something that they suggest that we check out or like um notebooks or like bookish things anything that they like shout out or something that someone says that i want to remember I write it down because I, I used to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to remember that. And then I completely forget the name of the company or something that they said that I wanted to remember. So I have this notebook that I carry with me just in case I watch a video and I want to write something down. I also have this notebook. So this notebook, I was, <laughs> I don't even know what this notebook is for anymore, but it is so pretty. It has like a little mermaid on the cover and it was a little bit expensive. So keep this one very close to me and I like the way it's set up because it has like the band here and then it has um the little compartment back here so I put like a lot of my sticky tabs in the back all my sticky tabs I put back here so I was using this as like just to write down notes for books that I was reading and the like, things I wanted to remember for reviews but then it turned into just like me planning out videos and me planning out when I'm gonna film and stuff like that so I kind of use this book notebook for everything at this point like the beginning of it is like a whole bunch of notes for reviews but like my hands get so tired when I have to write down reviews and then I end up having to write too much or I say too much and I'm just like I would rather type it out so like with me and like writing every single like review or note that I want to write down it's just it's just too much okay it's too much so I started just using this for like filming or editing planning scheduling whatever so this notebook is just like a universal booktube notebook at this point you know um, most of the time in my bag I usually put like my chargers but nobody cares about that so I'm not gonna, not gonna talk about that and I carry around my little hygiene pouch eyeliner well it has all this stuff in it it just has like simple stuff like lip gloss eyeliner mascara whatever and I have floss because you know what people be having shit in their teeth and I have to let them know floss people floss okay so i bring the floss just in case i get something in my teeth or someone i know has something in their teeth but that's everything that i have oh lord this damn pillow again stop moving so that's everything that i have in my bookish bag it's really not that much i try to keep it decluttered because sometimes i just throw random stuff in my bag like coupons and papers and all this stuff I put in my bag and then I look around and it's just like jam-packed full so I try to keep just these items in my bag but yeah I'm sure a lot of people that have these bags just put books in them but 
not me, I just carry everything that I need because I like to have all of my items nearby. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Always remember, read a book, keep your life interesting, and I will see you next time. If you have a bookish bag, let me know what you put in your bag. Like, do you put all this extra shit in your bag too? Or like, am I alone? Like, does everybody just put their books in their bag and that's it? Or, no? Okay, yeah, just let me know. Leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video.